Eastern Africa is one of the places most frequented by wildlife lovers. The most famous national parks in the world are located close to the border between Kenya and Tanzania, and they attract thousands of visitors eager to experience the legendary call of Africa. However far removed from the famous border, there are other far less well-known reserves containing animals that the large majority of travelers have never even heard of. Zamburu National Reserve in northern Kenya is spread over a region of semi-desert, ranging to the north from Mount Kenya as far as Sudan and Ethiopia. This is the Zamburu region, the heart of the Kingdom of Horns in eastern Africa. The reserve's 166 square kilometers give shelter to some of the species best adapted to heat and lack of water. This is the case of the Baisa oryx, a powerful and timid antelope that abounds in Samburu, and of the region's two zoological stars, the reticulated giraffe and a zebra that is different to the species normally grazing on the African savanna, the gravy zebra. The Iwaso Negiro River, meaning brown waters in the Ma language, serves as a boundary between the Zamburu, Buffalo Springs, and Shaba reserves, providing a constant water source which encourages the animal species to stay in the protected areas. The territory of these three reserves combined covers an area of 522 square kilometers, where species live with no greater threat than that of poachers who make incursions from the Ethiopian border. The reserves are linked together so that in practice they are really like one, except that tourists have to pay different entrance fees to enter each one. In Eastern Africa, this area is known as Njika, which means wild and solitary region. The climate is extremely dry and the vegetation is adapted accordingly, with hard and thorny branches, which has prevented people from settling, except for one tribe accustomed to the rigors of the harsh climate, the Zamburu. <laughs> It is thought that the 73,000 Zamburu who live in the region migrated from the north of Lake Turkana several centuries ago, in the same way as their cousins, the Maasai, from whom they separated 200 years ago. The two peoples still retain similarities in their social structure, their way of dressing, and their diet. The Zamburu, or Loikop, as they call themselves, keep goats and dromedaries. Milk is their staple diet, supplemented by blood let from the veins of their herds. To do this, they apply a tourniquet to the animal's neck until its jugular vein protrudes. Then, with an unsharpened arrow to prevent dangerous perforations, 
They puncture the vein and collect the blood in a container, which is then mixed with milk. On occasions when an animal dies or animals are sacrificed in a celebration, blood is also extracted from the corpse. The meat, roots and rind with which they make soup supplement their frugal diet. With the exception of initiation ceremonies to become warriors, the Zamburu never hunt wild animals, which means that all the meat they eat comes from the herds and their villages do not pose a threat to the reserve's animals, and they even serve as a curb to the Ethiopian shiftas on their clandestine incursions, since the latter are afraid of the Zamburu warriors who guard the herds. <laughs> 